Hello and welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. My name is Rahul Akshay. Today we are going to learn about one very useful and very powerful PowerShell script which will help you to request to multiple folders and subfolders and through files and to find out particular string and then to replace some particular pattern in those files. Okay, so just consider if you are working as a developer okay, and you are having some uh, thousands of files in as part of your project and all of a sudden there is there is one requirement to change the name of one function okay so this, this particular function may be called in different files okay different kinds of files and uh, uh, in uh, different iterations can be there and you need to find out how many files are having this uh, particular method name and you need to replace those files right so it will be a very difficult task to manually open each and every file and to identify this uh, method name and uh, to manually replace those file names right so in this particular scenarios what you can do is you can use a powershell script to request through all these files and it will give you the list of files okay then it will help to replace that particular method name with this method name or the new method name which you are going to provide to the script okay so the first part like searching of the particular pattern in uh, multiple folders and subfiles is already uh, uh, completed uh, through one video which I already uploaded in YouTube. So, again, as an extension, uh, how we can replace the method with a new name. That's what we are going to see today. Okay, so let's start the coding. I'm using Visual Studio for uh, writing the PowerShell code. Okay, let me put it in 200 percentage. Okay, and here I already created one folder uh, named the PowerShell test. Okay, and uh, inside that I am keeping one folder files. Okay, and inside that uh, I have another subfolder, and inside that also I have uh, two files: file one and file two. So let me open this. Okay, so here I have Auto Boat is a platform that will help you to learn new automation technologies. We are trying to cover the advanced technologies, the interview uh, questions, and practical examples to understand to help to make you an expert in robotic process automation. Okay, so here. Just consider these are two sample files, and I need to replace one particular value. Okay, so just consider I need to replace uh, the auto space board. So this is file one. So let me open file two. Okay, so this is a file two. In file two, I have written auto space board, but in file one it is auto board. Right, there is no space, and here in file two it is RP, and in file one it is robotic process automation. Okay, so my requirement is like I need to uh, I, uh, request from multiple folders and subfolders and different files, and I need to replace this RP with robotic process automation and auto space board with auto. Okay, so uh, in this files folder as well as a subfolder uh, which I already created, we have two files. So this file one is of the correct format and file two is of a uh, wrong format, right? So I need to I try to this folder and subfolder and I need to replace the RP with property process automation in this file and auto space both with auto both. Okay, so that's the scenario. And for that, what I'm doing is so in the main folder I'm keeping a template. Okay. So which of values I need to replace? I need to replace RP with robotic process automation and auto space board with auto. Right? So I have separated that with a slash. Okay. So this is my template file. So whatever the values which you want to replace, you can keep it like this. So whatever the old method name, you can keep it over here and slash then the new method name. Okay. So let's start our coding. So first what we can do, we need to request through all the files in the folder and subfolder. Okay. So let's start. Files <coughs> equal to directory then we need to provide the uh, folder path okay so the parent folder path we need to provide so this is the parent folder <coughs> okay then what i need to do i need to request through all these folders right so i'm using the recursor command okay so i'm just reducing it to 150 okay So uh, we need to request to 
now to all the file right to all the file we need to request okay then what we need to do we need to loop through each file right so here we are going to get the array of file name and we need to loop through each file to identify the particular pattern so we need to use a for each uh, loop for each dollar file in array right so array is files okay so what we need to do files then for each we need to loop through each line right so dollar line in system dot io dot fire okay then we need to read the lines all right so we read lines of what we need to read so what is it where is the template name okay so this is the template template dot txt okay, so i need to provide the full path of that file template dot txt okay so the second loop is to iterate through uh, uh, each lines in the template file okay then it, it will identify each uh, old value and the new value and it will replace it We are uh, closing the loop. Okay, so that's fine. So we have two loops for each loop for iterating to each file in the uh, folder, uh, and uh, the second for each to iterate through each line in the template file. Okay, so let me start the loop here. Then what we need to do? <coughs> we need to get the values from the template file. Right. So we have the old value and new value. So we need to get these two values to two variables. Right. So what I'm going to do is um, let me put it like original val. So this is one variable. Okay. So how I can get by splitting the line dot split. How I need to split? I need to split with the the slash okay and i need to get the first value right so that is the original value so this is the original value and i need to replace with the new value that is robotic process automation so we will be getting the first value that is rp then we need to put the replace that okay equal to dollar line dot split slash one okay then what we need to do okay split to zero okay so that's it so we are getting uh, the values from the template file then dollar content equal to we are going to read the file value okay so we are iterating to each file and in this file i'm going to read the content of this particular file okay so for that we have to use get hyphen content command okay then dollar of dollar file okay so this file dot full name hyphen row okay then so currently in this particular variable we are going to get all the uh, lines from the first file okay so here what is happening is it will loop through each file so first it will go to file then it will first read this file 1.txt and it will uh, get all the contents in file 1.txt to this variable okay so contact then what we need to do we need to replace that uh, values in that variable with the new value right so content hyphen replace 
So how we need to replace? We need to replace with original value with replace value. Okay, so I'm going to replace uh, <coughs> this original value with the replaceable value which I provided in the template. Okay, then where I need to get the output? Output hyphen file dollar dollar file dot file. Okay, so it will replace the content in the file in that particular variable and it will write to the same file itself okay so we don't need to uh, create separate files for keeping the value it will get right to the same file itself okay let me check two brackets we are opening we are closing okay so that's it so let me save this one so i hope you are clear about uh, this code which i have written so we are going to get all the files as a file array uh, by, by using the request method okay so uh, then uh, we are looping through each file in the file array so uh, that is a first for each loop then after that we are going to loop through each lines in the template template file okay then after that what we are going to do uh, <laughs> in this file uh, dollar file we are going to get all the contents to this particular content variable and in the template we need to get the first value, right? the first value as well as the replaceable value from the template that we are uh, getting using the split command. Then using the replace method by passing the original value and replaceable value here, we are going to replace the values in the content variable. Okay, and after that we are writing that particular content variable to outside. That's it. Okay, so let me execute this. <coughs> Start. So the execution is completed. So let me go here and open file 2.txt. So here you can see auto space bond got replaced with auto bond and RPA got replaced with a robotic process automation. Right? So let me go inside the folder. Here also you can see auto space bond is replaced with auto bond and RPA got replaced with a robotic process automation. <coughs> okay. So this is how this script is so working. So it will loop through each folder as a folder and all the files in that particular folders. And it will uh, loop through each line by line and it will identify that particular string and it will replace with the value which we are going to pass. Okay. So I hope this will be a very useful activity if you are going to spend a lot of time uh, for replacing some uh, variable or some method names in a huge number of file systems. Okay. So I hope you are clear about this concept and if there is any confusion regarding this code, please do comment in the comment section. Also, please don't forget to uh, subscribe the channel and to share this content with your friends. Okay, so please like the uh, video, please give your valuable comments and thanks for watching the video. Bye.